Hi guys, so welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of viral TikTok drugstore makeup and I'm gonna be rating it all as I go so I can let you know what's actually worth your money. I love me a good drugstore video and you guys know there has been so many new drugstore makeup releases and a lot of these products, the majority of them I should say, I have already been testing them out so I can really give you guys my thoughts on each product as I go with the exception of one thing in here which we'll get into but hope you guys enjoy and make sure you grab a snack and let's get into it. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and I'm gonna start with my face because for the eyes I'm just gonna do lashes today no liner no mascara well just kidding I'm gonna do mascara no liner no eyeshadow just lashes so I'm gonna start with primer and I'm gonna go in with the power grip primer from elf this is a tried and true favorite I love this it makes your makeup last all day it's hydrating and it's an exact dupe you already know for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So I'm rating this a 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorite primers and it's right under $10, so it's good. I find this works also with a lot of my favorite foundations. So it really is such a good primer. It's actually been one of my go-tos for like everyday makeup because it has a little bit of that tacky base. So it works so well at keeping your makeup in place all day. Next up, you already know, we have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. When this launched, or even I should say when e.l.f. posted about this for the very first time, I feel like everybody was talking about this with good reasoning because e.l.f. is just like that brand. They always have amazing products and I have been really enjoying this. So I'm gonna go in with two different shades. At first I was using shade light medium three and then I started mixing in four, which is medium. I feel like this one, medium is a little bit too dark and then light medium is slightly too light so I kind of like mixing the two to create my perfect shade this is such a beautiful universal product you can wear it on its own you can wear it mixing it in with your foundation I love the glow that it gives this kind of reminds me of like a glowy very natural skin tint and this has kind of been like my foundation recently so I just use this a little bit of concealer and then some cream blush set with the powder and that's it it's the easiest base routine and it looks so natural but like very glowy so I pretty much do light medium first and then I just add medium right over top of this so also rating this product a 10 out of 10 I think this is like probably one of the best spot on dupes for a high-end product which is a Charlotte Tilbury product and my favorite foundation brush lately has been the pinnacle foundation brush from Anissa Beauty obsessed with this the shape of it it just fits perfectly on so many different like crevices on your face. I love it. So I'm just gonna blend this in pretty much as if it was a foundation because that's what I've been using it as and like look at that glow it's just so beautiful and fresh, but it will also even out your skin tone and just give your skin a little bit of an enhancement. So this is definitely a really beautiful product for everyday makeup if you're a bride or just in general back to school. I'm obsessed, it looks so good. I really love mixing those two shades too. I feel like that is like my perfect match. And I believe by the time you guys see this video, I'm pretty sure this should be available at Target. If not, it should be online at Target because I know it's been sold out on Elf's website, but it really is so good. I could not put this down. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Joa Beauty Eye Serum Concealer. I have this one in the shade Light Medium. So the applicator on this is kind of like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which used to be one of my favorites back in the day, but that's what this reminds me of. It can get a little bit messy, so I like to clean it whenever I'm done using it. But yeah, you just twist it up and then you get the product out. Now I'm gonna apply this right here. I do like this because it has, I would say really good like natural light to medium coverage. You can build this up. And comparing it to the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, this one definitely has more coverage and it's a little bit creamier. And this one is a much more like thinner, lightweight formula. So I would say if you're looking for a little bit less coverage and you just want something for every day, this one is it. It's also really good if you're on the go because you just kind of apply it, blend it, and you're good. Whereas the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, I love this for spot concealing for the under eyes. It's very creamy, has really good coverage. So you could use this also as like kind of a foundation and concealer just because of the formula. Formula, it's so good. So I like them both. It just depends on the look that I'm going for. So if I want more coverage, I go with the next one. But if I'm just keeping it simple, I've been using this one from Joa as well, and I love it. But I'm gonna rate it an eight out of 10, just because I wish it had more shades, but it's a nice concealer. You can get it at CVS. This is also, I feel like, a really good concealer if you wanna highlight, like let's say like on the high points of your face like this, because it is such a lightweight formula. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin like whatsoever. So I really actually like this packaging. Like, I know it can get messy, but it's a good concealer. Like the formula makes up for it. I'm just using this little concealer brush just to blend that out. 
Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the very popular Pixie on the Glow blushes. I just did a video on a full face of Pixie, actually, if you guys wanna check that out, but I've never tried these two colors on my cheeks. I've only ever swatched them. The color that I have on my cheeks that I've tried is the color Juicy, which is a really pretty like orangey coral, but today we're gonna try both of these out. So I'm gonna do Ruby on this side and Fleur on the other. So these are very popular for basically the packaging because you just twist them up and then you just apply them and blend them out, but for me personally, I like to just take my brush and dip directly into the product and then apply it that way. It's so much easier to blend and it just looks better. Look at that color. So pretty. It's like a natural like raspberry shade. Like it just looks like you're blushing. I'm gonna actually have to rate these blushes because I do like them, but I think I'm gonna rate these an eight and a half out of 10 because they're expensive. And then on the other side, by the way, I'm gonna go in with Fleur and I'm gonna use another brush. Elf Complexion Duo, one of my favorites for cream products. And this one is a really light like baby doll pink. That is really pretty. I think I like this one more. I like them both, but I feel like for every day, this one is the prettiest. These are also dewy and they're buildable. So the more you add, the more color you're gonna get on your cheeks. And Pixie is definitely up there with their prices as far as like drugstore. They are a more higher end drugstore brand in my opinion, because a lot of their stuff is like, I don't think anything is like under 10 or $12. So they're pricey. So that's why I'm gonna rate this that, but it is a really pretty blush. I do feel like you can get this effect with other blushes as well. Um, I really have been loving lately the e.l.f. putty blushes, the Luminous. They are so beautiful. Another great option that I've been really enjoying is this brand, AF94, which is Halsey's brand. You can find this at Walmart. And with this brand, on the other hand, everything is under $10. So if you're looking for a beautiful, affordable cream blush, this one is such a nice formula. And this color is Soft Smile. These also come in a couple different shades. The formula of this is not dewy, it's more of a natural finish, but I mean, it's a cream blush. The packaging is so easy and this blends really nicely into the skin. So if you don't wanna drop the $18 on a blush, I get it, especially at the drugstore. So this is a really good option or the e.l.f. ones if you want a little bit more of a dewy finish. But this is looking good. I'm very happy with the skin right now. Like give me all the dewy skin. For life now this is a newer product apparently this is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury contour wand so this is the makeup revolution eye bright under eye concealer packaging again is kind of similar to the joa concealer it says to shake this so let's try it i'm pretty much going to put this on the outer perimeter of my cheeks and a little bit right here oh i'm kind of nervous to blend this out i'm definitely going to just put this on my forehead first so one of my favorite things about the charlotte tilbury contour wand is how creamy and blendable it is like it really just melts into your skin and it blends almost instantly so that's why i really like that product i also feel like the color is really nice i do wish that she would carry more shades in that though because it is such a good formula like it's definitely a product that i would repurchase and that's always how i can tell if I really love a product or not, and especially when it's high end. So I really love that one. First impression with this, I don't love this color. So I definitely don't love that. It looks very muddy on my skin. Basically my face looks right now like I have hair dye left over and I'm blending it in as my contour. So the shade is not it. Once you blend it, I think it looks a little bit better. Oh wait, I didn't realize I did get two shades. I got the color Deep Caramel as well. Okay, hold on. Let's try that. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit right here so we can see what that color looks like. I'm gonna spot clean my brush just with a little bit of alcohol. And in Charlotte Tilbury, I'm in the color Fair Medium. So let's see. Again, that one's Makeup Revolution. And this is Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, the one from Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit lighter, but I feel like Overall, this shade, I'm like running out of it, by the way. That's why I'm not getting taking out a lot of product. I don't think that's a bad dupe, actually, but you have to get the color Deep Caramel. So I think my rating for this is gonna be a nine out of 10, only because I wish that they had more shades. Next up for powder, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I just saw this go viral, actually this past week or last week, and I'm like, finally, this powder is getting some recognition that it deserves because it is really so good and it's $5. So this is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I love this to set under my eyes, but you could also use it to set your entire face. It's a really good powder. I'm gonna use it for my t-zone today just to show you how soft and beautiful it is and then i'm going to use a different powder that's a little bit closer to my skin tone to set the rest of my face but i'm going to take this and just put this on my under eyes to show you 
like how soft it makes your skin look. Look at the difference. So good, and it's like literally $5. I don't know how Essence does it, but this powder is bomb. So, so nice. I mean, you totally could use it to set the rest of your face, but I feel like since it is a brightening powder, it could make the rest of your face look a little ashy. So that's why I like to just kind of focus it wherever I want my face to look the brightest. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder. And this is another good Charlotte Tilbury powder dupe, although I love the pressed powder. I think that one, it's really good. But this one is also really good, and it's like 10 bucks. So I really love this, and I'm using the shade Light Medium. I'm gonna just put this on pretty much the outer perimeter of my face just to lightly set. You can also use this for your under eyes. You could use like a lighter shade. They also have like a completely transparent shade. All right, for mascara, I'm gonna go in with Essence Lash Princess. I'm gonna use the waterproof version today just because it's hot. I love this mascara. It's probably my most repurchased mascara also. I just love everything about it. it. Lengthens, volumizes, separates, doesn't flake. It's so good. So Essence Lash Princess always gets a like 20 out of 10 from me. I love it. Like, I love this mascara. Every time I put it on, I'm like, yes, Essence, come through with the length with the volume. It doesn't get clumpy too, which I really like. Now for lashes, I'm gonna go in with these from Kiss. I can't remember if I tried these or not. They're in the style Ruffle, and they're from the Naked Drama line. I am obsessed with Kiss lashes already, so I wouldn't be surprised if I did try these, but this is what they look like. So very fluffy. So these are pretty. I don't really love the style on my eyes right now. I don't know. I've been like more into a more like wispy kind of lash, but these are very pretty. They're not my favorite style from Kiss personally. I feel like there's other lashes that they carry that flatter my eyes shape a little bit better. And you just really cannot go wrong with Kiss lashes regardless. It just depends on the kind of style that you like. Okay, so I just put on the lashes. I have to say, I don't love these. And they're going to get a 7 out of 10 just because I don't love the style on me. I think they're pretty, but in my opinion, I think Kiss has prettier lashes than this. Like, I prefer the Pompadour, the number 11s, the 01s. Like, I can think of so many other lashes that I prefer and that I recommend over these. So, I mean, like, they're pretty, but 7 out of 10. Really quick, I just want to enhance my cheeks a little bit more. So, I always like to do a cream blush and then a powder over top just to make it last a little bit longer. And plus, I need a little bit more of a glow. So, I'm just going to use Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is a classic. I will never get over this blush formula. It's the best. Now I'm going to go in with a lip pencil. I don't really see any like viral lip liners on TikTok besides Charlotte Tilbury, but I feel like these should be viral. The LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liners. So I'm going to use the color Coquette. I pretty much love all of the shades, to be honest. Sandstorm, Gingerbread, Maple Glaze. They're all so nice. Very creamy. Love this formula. So I'm going to use this and then a lip oil. So I'm gonna top this off with the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oils. So I tested this out a few months back and I mentioned that it wasn't my favorite formula just because I wish it was a little bit more hydrating. I'm gonna have to give these probably eight and a half out of 10, but out of all of them, I have to say my favorite one is the Cherry Lime Lip Oil. I find that this one gives you the most color out of all of them and I love the way the strawberry one smells. So I'm gonna use the strawberry one today just to show you. It's gonna give your lips a slight tint, but nothing too much. Definitely good for just like everyday makeup, like if you're just throwing something on with a lip liner. I love the applicator though. Most lip oils have this really like chunky little applicator and I love it. It fits the lips so nicely, but I actually really like this with the lip liner. It's so pretty. And then I will swatch the other two to show you. So this is the raspberry one slight little tint and then this is cherry lime and cherry lime is my favorite because it just it's the most beautiful like sheer cherry on the lips and after putting this on with a lip liner i like it so much more like i'm telling you guys lip liner enhances any lip product that you put on over top now for setting sprays i didn't really see any like setting sprays that were like super popular like just one specifically i feel like there's a couple different ones from elf that people love milani so i'm gonna use milani make it last matte because this is genuinely one of the best setting sprays at the drugstore and it's Especially the matte version is great for the heat if you have oily skin. 
So that is everything for this full face of viral TikTok drugstore makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this was a good one. I know very simple glam, but so many great products in here. So other than the lashes, I have to say, I don't really love these lashes on me. I'll probably end up just giving them away because I just don't like the way that they look on my eye shape personally. And I think Kiss has much better options in my opinion. But other than that, and with the concealer, I was struggling a little bit because the shade was too dark. But when I went in with the shade Deep Caramel, I feel like it definitely helped. And this shade blended out so easily. So I really like this. I just wish it came in more colors. That's the only thing. For the most part, though, I feel like all these products are amazing in one way or another. I know the Pixi Blush was pricey. This was definitely higher end as far as drugstore pricing goes. So that's why I wanted to give you guys those other two options. Definitely don't feel obligated to get this because, I mean, it is really beautiful. But there are some other alternatives that you can get to create this really pretty like pink cheek and i'm so happy that i got to kind of retest out the milani lip oils again i've kind of been using them recently just on their own but i love these the best with a lip liner but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite product is at the drugstore right now or out of any of these if you have tried them tell me your number one down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next one bye